Hello, today I'm going to talk about how long an electrical mains fed device will run off a 12 volt DC power source, for example a battery. In order to get the answer you need to know some values first such as volts, amps and wattage and to get the answer to these values we need to measure using the meters I've got here. The first one here is actually a clamp meter. This is used to measure the amps. And how it simply works is you clamp it around a single mains live cable. It can't be three cores or two cores. It has to be the single live core and it produces an inductive field in the, the loop and it produces the display of amps right there. The minimum resolution is it goes from 20 amps right up to 400 amps the higher the amp rating the lower the resolution is in the display you can actually measure voltage through probes on this clamp meter but the primarily use of this is for amps here we've got an energy monitor this is quite handy because you can actually easily measure different aspects such as volts of 246 volts coming through the mains there you can measure the hertz and it's 49.9 hertz you can also measure watts and amps but because there's nothing plugged in there's no draw on that the upside of this is is quite portable you can plug it straight in you know you could plug it behind the fridge and work out how many uh, kilowatts the fridge is drawing over a 24 hour period um, un but unlike the clamp meter you can't simply use this for everything it, it can only be used for devices that has a plug so for your oven that is plugged straight that's wired straight in to its own circuit you can't work out how much current your oven is drawing because it doesn't simply have a plug uh, but this is actually very handy to have just to be able to easily work out the current, how much current something draws. I really wanted to get this into um, the meters as well because what this is is one of these energy monitors you can get free from your electricity providers and what it is it's it has a transmitter that's connected to the mains incoming cable the meter tail and it transmits the information to a simple little receiver and what it does, it, it displays very easily of how much in wattage your house is drawing and it has a running total that can be easily reset by holding buttons on the back just below there. This is very handy for when you are going completely off grid because then you can see a running total of what you've spent so to speak for example, if you know that you can spare a kilowatt a day, you can keep an eye on this, and when the meter eventually gets to a kilowatt, then that's when you can switch everything off, or when it's creeping up, then you can switch off certain lights to run on the bare essentials there. You can get different ones which has bar charts that go up and have targets and uh, limits where an alarm will go off but this is actually very handy for when there's no um, when you are running off complete batteries there just for people interested this is a clamp meter in in use uh, my house is drawing 2.5 amps this is connected around the mains meter tail and it simply comes out like that, drawing nothing. There you go. Um, just if you connect it to the neutral, that's the difference. It's 1.97 amps. So you always need to be connecting it to the live. Right, the question is how long can my portable 240 volt television run off a 12 volt DC 110 amp hour leisure battery? through the inverter. So if you go over to the energy monitor that's showing you before, the television is plugged into it, we can see different functions like it 
from the mains is 243 volts over in the UK here the mains grid is 240 volts and it does fluctuate up and down same with the Hertz we're normally a flat 50 Hertz but it does go up and down so the television is drawing 31 watts and the important figure for this exercise is it's drawing 0.23 amps at 240 volts. We can go through in another video of how you work out the watts when you only know the volts and the amps and how you know work out the different sides of things in another video but at the moment we're just going to be working out how long will the television work off a 12 volt battery. Right, now a bit of maths. Because we know that the 12 volts coming into the inverter needs to produce 240 volts on the other side, the 12 volts needs to be multiplied by 20 to get 240 volts on the other side. If we was producing 120 volts it would only need to be multiplied by 10 but here is 240 volts so it's been multiplied by 20 so the TV is drawing 0.23 amps we're going to multiply that by 20 and that produces 4.6 amps draw in the 12 volt side of things we've got 110 amp hour leisure battery we can never go below 50% of that, otherwise you'll never, to be able, never be able to charge it up fully again. So we've got 55 amps to play with. To be safe, call it 50 amps. So we've got to work out how many times 4.6 amps can go into 50 amps. So we start off with the 50 amps. And we need to divide by 4.6. And that's going to show us how many hours we can run the television for constantly. So we've got 10.86 hours that the, this television can run of this battery. Due to efficiency, the inverter maximum efficiency can run at about 85% because of heat loss and running like auxiliary systems and stuff like that. That's 85%. So, 85% of this figure, you're going to be looking just above 9.5 hours. Uh, yeah, 9.5 hours, 9 hours that you can run this television for off this single battery. But if you think about another 3 added to this system to produce 440 amps, this figure will be multiplied by by four and because you're not going to be watching a television for nearly 40 hours you can run different things off the bank of batteries and this is where the wireless energy meter really plays its part because you've got a running total of what you, you've used because you know how much your capacity is you can then spend wisely. So I'll catch you later.